Hello everybody and welcome to Blue Goose Garage. As you can kind of see here, we're sitting in the 67. Now, a couple weeks ago, I made a video showing us that radio. Uh, I was originally going to show you us putting it in the car, but I have an issue right now with my editing app on my phone. And I can't really cut together videos at the moment. So I'm kind of having to do this uh, all in one go, which, you know, may would normally be easy to do but i'm not really all that good at this to begin with and it's just kind of flying by the seat of my pants anyway so as you can see the radio's in it let's go up under the dash and try to show you something uh my speaker idea ended up working great well i mean it fit i don't know about great there really ain't nothing great about any of this but adequate at best marginal living but the you can't see it from down here can you all right so when you're going to put a speaker in the car you have to have the heater controls and the radio out well i had all that out anyway so i put the speakers up in up in there and with my third hand started a bolt in it and uh, then i put the radio in it and, and the heater control uh I can remember working on this car thinking I had all kinds of room under this dash and I, you don't really, there is no room under that dash. In the middle of it right here, that's just about as bad as a new car. And definitely heavier. There's nothing light on a 67 Chevelle. The radio probably weighs 25 pounds and the it's just, it's literally between everything on this side of the dash and that side of the dash, it's like 50 pounds in a 20 pound bag. So, it's kind of, it's also kind of like a puzzle that you don't have a box of, so you're just kind of guessing at things. Uh, one thing I did want to kind of mention on here, uh, I've been online, I've been on Facebook, I've been on everything, trying to find, uh, diagrams and pictures and stuff on the way that the console wiring is supposed to be and so far I've not came up with anything that is accurate now accurate being everybody's showing how to do it with a car that is not a factory console car so everybody's saying oh you gotta tie into these wires up in here and up in there and you gotta make everything work but that's not how this car was wired because this car was a factory console car and I've not been able to find the diagram for a factory harness car. You can find diagrams for replacement harnesses and you can find stuff for putting one in but you can't find one for this is my point. So you see where that plug is that's coming from the dash, the one wrapped with black tape that's laying on top of the heater box. All right, you see that, and you see this. This is what's left of the console, console harness that I have for this car. And the best I can tell, now I could be wrong, I often am, but the best I can tell That wiring harness clips on to something in this area. I've not quite figured it out yet, but it clips on to something in this area and dips down behind the, con the heater box and goes down the carpet and comes out about right here. If anybody happens to watch this that has experienced this, I would much appreciate it if uh, you could kind of lead me in the right way, but I've been looking for six months and I've not found anything yet. All right, so you can see that the radio's in the car, all this stuff, that's looking a lot better than I ever expected this to be. You can, yes, you can see the speakers. I'm fine with that. It's got two speakers in the dash. It's going to have two speakers back here. I'm going to put them 
Well, I'm probably going to do a similar thing to what I did in the front. It's going to be two three inch speakers, two three and a halves back here where this sits by nine is supposed to be. Because this car was a, well, this car was a single speaker AM car. It didn't have one back here when it was new. But I'm going to put two speakers back here under the under the deck because even though this is rested to death and missing pieces of it I'm not cutting that to put two six by nines back here I might I might but I really don't want to all right so uh, the next video on this car uh, I've got it parked for winter I'm not driving it again until next spring. In the next uh, couple weeks, I'm going to get it back inside, and I'm going to start working on it, doing what I did over here, over here. Until then, I'm going to make that door panel and that door, a quarter panel panel. And I've decided on wood veneer and... Possibly black vinyl, maybe blue vinyl, but, but more than likely black vinyl because, like I've mentioned, this is the Black Belt Chevelle. And since the outside is going to have black on it in a couple places, I figure the interior needed to too. So the door panels and, and trim panels are going to be blue. The carpet, I mean, going to be black. The door panels and trim panels are going to be black. And the, and the carpet and headliner and seats and stuff are going to be blue. The console is also black. So, black and blue. And that ought to look pretty good with that. You know, I don't know if you can see that anymore, but that's the original driver's side door to my car. So you you see this faded paint here, and there's a little darker blue through here. See that top and bottom. That would have looked like, well, that. But anyway, I'll... Uh, See us again next time. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think.